Hey guys, what is up? It is Archangel2276 here, back with a Battlefield video. It has been quite a while, a couple of weeks actually, and this is actually going to be different. Um, so this is going to be my thoughts and impressions on Battlefield 1, and uh, I don't really think that anything I'm going to say is going to be inherently new, um, but I do think I've got maybe a different take than some of the other big YouTubers out there doing similar videos. But um, the first thing I would like to like talk about, and I'm not quite sure if it's too bad or if it's even just a couple bad luck moments with me on here. Um, but the net code, I've seen, I've gotten shot through like a, a wall, and I even got sh shot through a head, domed actually by a sniper through a hill. That was fun. But um, I think it's it's better. It's the beta though. Like I'm like yeah, I understand it's the beta. And I mean, if they just release the game with making a few subtle changes, uh, I'd all, I'd have the collision with like the player character model, uh, I'd have that be fixed because as we all know, is like when you go to vault something that's super annoying. But I think it looks really good and it it's really sound. I like uh, a lot of the things, but um, the one thing I can't I can't believe is uh, and it may it could just be me. Um, it could just be having terrible luck, but uh, the horse, the cavalry units. Oh my god. I don't know. I feel like those should see a change as well as some tank mechanics, but we're on the horses right now. Like uh the the sword, like the distance to get killed by that thing is just it's ridiculous. Like I it's just it's a huge distance that they can just drop you from. Um I those are actually like the bane of my existence right now on Battlefield 1 on this beta like oh my god, terrible. Um and I'm okay with the fact like they like they're like a tank or a vehicle, but like a little bit more agile, and uh, I like that because like they can really run you over. They're like a motorcycle, but like definitely can pop those 3.0 turns a lot easier. Anyway, the other thing that I find is a little weird is that their rifle is pretty strong. Like I've been two shot. I think I've actually been one shot most of the time. I've been shot with it, and two shot the rest. So I don't know if they should maybe an idea for a nerf for that would maybe make it slightly less powerful. And uh, maybe make the sword animation have a bit of a closer range before it can kill you. Otherwise, I think that it's pretty well balanced. Um, you just have to really be accurate with them things because them things will fuck you up. Like, oh my god. Um, the one big thing too that I can't. Uh, it, it's a big, the biggest thing for me, and it's caused a lot of frustration. Is like I get it. We're in Battlefield One, and it's like World War One, and everything, but the accuracy of the weapons is a little um wonky i'm gonna say wonky instead of like my other like i want to be more brutal on it mainly I, I think it's mainly it's a beta and everything and i'm also not used to this game so it could just be that but the support weapons are god awful if i had to make any change to any of the guns for the starting game it would be to make the support weapons just have a tad bit more accuracy and the bipod what is up with that i don't like that like the fact that you have like it just automatically deploys like that is not a good mechanic i find more often than not that i start i don't even realize it's deploying and then i move and then i have to wait for it to like do a little setup animation again and it's it's just i liked it better the way it was whenever it was more like a manual thing it just felt more solid and more um uniform in my opinion, like it, it just felt like it's it wasn't as fluid as it is in this one, but I didn't think that that needed to be fluid. Like the combat flows and whatnot, and when you want to set up, you kind of want to like set up. You don't want to feel like your um, one one accidental like nudge with your left analog stick, and suddenly your bipod's down. And then you're at an incredible disadvantage with uh, firefight just because the support weapons are just god awful with accuracy. Um, but honestly, all of them could just use a tad bit more accuracy, just, just a hair. It's not like they need to go on full on buff mode and make them all 25, 50% more accurate. I'm talking like five, maybe 10% at max, just, just a slight tweak to all the guns. And the big thing for that is that you're having a first person shooter. You don't want to, uh, that's the one thing about Battlefield. And I've heard a lot of people say it's like Hardline, and I don't really think so. Hardline to me was kind of like a gimmick with its like main theme, but it also, I, in my opinion, Hardline was a great game. I think it should have done better. Um, I think what they went they went with the damage model and everything, and it was just uh, too much. 
But the main thing was it kind of felt gimmicky. And Battlefield 1 doesn't feel gimmicky to me. But, like, the one thing I would say is more like a gimmick that wants to make you, like, buy into the fact that this is a World War One game is the weapon accuracy. I, I don't think the weapon accuracy is a good mechanic for uh, this game. As a first-person shooter, if you want it to be competitive, you want it based on skill and uh, precision and stuff. And I find that, yes, with guns being more inaccurate, that is a bit... That's, that's highlighted a bit more, but because um, those players who are able to reel in the horrible weapon spread and stuff, which I find is way more like RNG and random, uh, will do better. Um, but I find that like I love playing support, but um, in this new game in battle in the beta right now, not new game in the beta, I find that I'm not I'm either sniping or the medic class. I'm not even anything else with a, a fully automatic weapon, and I. I mean, I guess that's one way to get around the problem. I mean, if I can't reel them in and master them or hone them in, that's on my fault. That's my part there. But um, I just think that they could use a slight buff. Um, the one thing I'm really, really loving, though, like I mentioned above, is like I'm either sniping or the medic. I love the sniping in Battlefield 1. It is so damn beautiful. <laughs> like... The mechanic, the rifle, the bullet speed, the way he just, uh, the, all the animations for all the reloading, by the way, are awesome. Like, it just is like, mmm, hardy. It, like, I, I don't know, I just, like, sailing at full mast every time my guy reloads his bolt action or this uh, semi-automatic rifle you guys are seeing here. I don't know the name of it. Um, I just like the reload animations. And part of the reason, too, is in my other, like, in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3, I used the M249, and that gun was inaccurate. So, I mean, me saying that these guns are inaccurate, it really is like, why are you saying that if you use the M249? But um, the whole reason why I used the M249, though, in Battlefield 3 and 4 was mainly due to the reload animation. I just loved how he pulled that uh, bolt back. That Yeah, anyway. Um, so I really liked those animations and whatnot. But the sniping in this game is awesome. Um the bayonet function too i find that i love that more than melee melee to me is a bit precarious uh precarious i don't even know if i'm pronouncing that correctly oh well um it's just i find it too slow um and that they don't do enough damage as well as i think uh i don't know i mean i kind of liked the counter knife function Mainly because some of these melee weapons you get are like broken, like the shovel. It does a ridiculous amount of damage. You tap fire somebody and then just t press the me uh, melee button, it's game over for somebody. Um, and I don't really think it should be that way. That's kind of like a, a cheap kill. Like it's like with Battlefield 3, it was like a two knife minimum. Even, like you had to knife them and then they had to like turn around, or if they were looking at you, you knifed them twice. And it just seemed more like, uh, I don't know, it just seemed more. Um, like a fight for that kill instead of, I don't know, for lack there of a better word, excuse me. It's um, it's just too easy, I think, to use the shovel on that pistol combo. But uh, other than that, too, is whenever they, like you hit somebody with the shovel, it takes forever. And uh, like you just you hit somebody with a shovel, and they suddenly become really aware that there's somebody doing damage to me nearby. I know exactly where they are, and they whip around, and you're dead like that before you can get your gun out. I'm fine with that though. Um, like I said, I just would. I think that they need to kind of tweak it a bit, uh, since it is the beta and everything. I'd like to see something else done a little bit more to that. Um, and bayonetting, I don't know if it's overpowered or underpowered. Uh, the one thing I think I would change is like I find that after you bayonet somebody, like your character doesn't move as slow as if you just wasted a bayonet to get around, and. Um, that I think I would nerf. I think I'd make it to where you're slow, irregardless, irregardless, without regards of whether or not you hit somebody or not. Um, and that I it just I don't know. It just seems like a little overpowered. The one thing I am thankful for though is that like the body armor. I personally have no idea how to get body armor in this game. I'm okay with that. But what irks me is is like there's sometimes players who have. I think it's the cavalry units or some unit gets armor in this game and they take a shit ton of damage. I have never, like, I have played as the uh, support class with, like, the Lewis machine gun and I've put, like, 30 out of the 47 rounds into the guy and he still kills me with, like, 30 health. That is insane. That is broken. The one thing that there is a silver lining to that is that they can get bayoneted 
one time. Like, that's it. Like, it's not like you sit there and melee them for, like, 80 damage or whatnot. You actually bayonet the, the guy, and it kills him. I, I don't know if you can bayonet the sentries. I actually know the name of that unit, but... um. Them guys, I'm I'm okay with them being overpowered. Maybe maybe tweak that a little bit too, but um, that that's okay with me. I'm not too worried about that. Um, it's just that that armor kind of like you don't know what units are gonna take 30 rounds to put down, and other units are gonna take four or five, and uh, I don't know why that's like even in the game. Uh, I would take it out personally. Um, I didn't really think that needed to be a thing. If I was a cavalry unit, I'm signing up to be a little bit more of an open target. I think they're cavalry units that get the body armor. Again, I'm not sure. But vehicle combat and vehicles in this game are... Um, oh, they are really good. I don't use vehicles too much, um, but I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy driving a tank once in a while. Um, I'm terrible, and I'm like, my aim in this one is terrible. Like, I can't hit the broadside of a barn. Um... But whenever I do do well in a tank, it's really fun. Even when I do bad in a tank, I just like driving around in them because they're like they they sound good, they feel good, they respond well. The sounds like the when you fire the gun and everything sound cool. Uh, the repair function is really wicked. Um, vehicle combat though, airplanes flying is really good in this game, and I actually love it. But it's uh, it's the like when you fly first person, I don't know if it's just a beta, but when you fly first person, there's a lot of screen shake and it, it's kind of driving me crazy. So I fly in third person only and I don't really like to fly in third person unless I'm in a dogfight, which then, I mean, like it, you get a bit of, uh, you get a bit more um, like area of uh, where you can see to tell where the enemy plane is. But um, <clears throat> the thing about that is, is like, I would take away, when you're in first person and you're aiming down the scope, like when you aim in and you're like in that view, take away some of the, the shake um, that the guns give you because they're, it's quite a lot and it's tough to rein in. And I also find that when you aim and you're in first person, uh, it's not easy to like suddenly like just make a fine adjustment to the left or to the right. Like you have to like move the whole plane and that jacks with your aim. Um, I don't know if that's how that's supposed to be. If it is, then I mean, great, I guess that's what job well done. But I mean, I feel like it could be a little smoother. <clears throat> and uh, that's about all I've got for that. Um, air vehicles and everything. It was fun to fly, though. If you haven't given a go, give it give it a shot. It is a lot of fun. And when you're tailgunning, you successfully like help your pilot kill something. Uh, it's amazing. And also, when you're sniping and you snipe out your first like gunner or your pilot... You will be on cloud nine. It is one of the best like satisfactions that there is in this game, uh, along with bayonetting. And the sound in this game could use some work as well. It's uh, it it's hit and miss. I find like it's crazy. Like uh, the it sounds like people and I can't tell. I don't. I like the mini map function where they took off took off the uh, when you pull your trigger, you kind of just like you show up on the mini map in the other games. I would be okay with having a, a smaller like area or a time limit on that when you pop up on the radar, but uh, I I would at least like some notification, maybe like for their first shot, but then no shot afterwards, so at least I know if it's an enemy shooting near me or a friendly, because I can't tell when a, a friendly sniper's in a building to, to my left and an enemy sniper's to the building to my right. There's like a cutoff point on the minimap as well for when you can see your teammates. I can't tell if it's a friendly or an enemy shooting. And half the time I wind up whipping around, looking around at nothing, and then realizing, oh, that's a friendly. Never mind. The sound could use a bit more dialing down into like more precise locations. But uh, overall, uh, the sound sounds really good too. Um, I think that the players, when they talk, that's, that's terrible right now. Like that is... When the the character's like we've taken objective alpha or something, it's like that comes from everywhere. I'm like I when I hear that I can't tell, and sometimes it's like I'm on the Ottoman Empire. One of the, I'll hear like a, my friendly guy yell that or like we've taken the objectives from these fuckers, and it's not Turkish. It's like uh, okay, I thought you were British there for a second, um, and it's just a little wonky and everything, but. This is just like a quick little two, my two cents on Battlefield 1. If you liked what you saw um, and maybe agreed with what you heard, please uh, give me some feedback and a comment. Leave a like if you'd like to see more content. I'm actually going to be planning on making a lot of videos for Battlefield 1. But uh, <clears throat> let me know what you guys thought of the video. And uh, yeah, I will try and get back to you guys in another video. And thanks for watching.